Zupa Shift there, um, and welcome to this demonstration of a new game that I'm creating, in Python and Pygame. Um, basically, it's called Trapped Tux, and we've got a recipe Tux because he is trapped. The Antarctica Research Center, or ARC, is the biggest research facility in the world. It attempts to find a way of controlling atmospheric conditions. Unfortunately, the project backfired upon it, and it brought upon itself a storm the like of which had never been seen before. The ark was completely ruined, trapping Tux inside. So, basically, you control Tux, and Tux is trapped. Um, and you have to untrap him by using levers and buttons, or not, not levers, just, just buttons, to sort of open doors and find your way out. It's supposed to be a bit of a puzzle type game, but it's quite easy at the moment. I haven't got heaps of um, heaps of puzzles yet. It's relatively easy, although I have got quite a cool feature where you can actually pick up this wire here, or these two wires, and now you have a two up there, indicating that you have two wires on you. And you pick them up with the Z, Z key and only with the extra bounding boxes a little bit gives spikes a wide berth. Put them down on X, not there, put it just put it down there. And basically connects the buttons and if you don't have them whoops, I just put another one down on top of it. If you don't have them, then that's not gonna work. I can't turn that door off now because I've disconnected the wire. If I try turning this on, it's not gonna work. So you press enter to um, switch, to toggle buttons. Um, why am I disconnected? Anyway, and if I put it in the wrong place, oh, I could just die. So let's pick it up again and put it down. You don't have any sort of live system at the moment. And let's put it down over here. Let's try this without it. Yep, doesn't work. Let's try putting it down. I don't, I don't have anything to put down. What happened to it? Apparently, I, even though I created it, I am not that great at it. Um, put it down there. Toggle it. And there would be a portal for the next level in here, but I haven't made that yet. So, it's... Um, quite a basic, well, very early stage game at the moment, um, but it is open source and you can contribute at GitHub. Um, I'll, I'll leave the link in the description. So you can download it, download it as a zip here, if you want to play it downloaded as a zip, and then extract it and you'll get something like that, with that folder there, and just open it up and just double click main.py and it will run, although um, in some cases it may open with a text editor like this, which won't run it, so you need to go open with these other applications, use custom command and just type in Python. And I'm not sure if you do that on Windows. I'm not sure how the Windows Python opening works. Or, or you could open it through the terminal. Um, so, if you have any ideas for it, you can submit in issues or ideas. I'll, I'll use it. I'll say it's issues and ideas. Um, and if you want to contribute, make a pull request. Um, and some of the things you can contribute on are I have a level planner in here so you can plan new levels basically I've got a grid in here it's not a very good grid but um, the black squares are walls the orange ones are wires the blue ones are doors the red ones are buttons and the yellow ones are spikes green ones are um, where you start and where you, where you get out, except it kind of mucks up the 
planning here and then he start in the middle of the wall so I decided to exclude those walls and actually made the wall um, this and uh, other artwork as well um, maybe something better than a screenshot of Google Earth um, and you can also this is how levels are made um, basically you just have a main function called play level and a function called restart which just resets everything and it's actually really really boring to make a level because it's pretty much just object setter dot set object x position y position um, size I think it's height width not sure most of them are square anyway yeah w no it's width height okay and then the image that you want to use for that um, object which you would have to import at the start here and then if you want to do a spike then you go set non-solid object and then if it equals true so it'll give off a true output if um, it'll tr return a value of true if um, it is it, it collides with the player um, and then you just do the restart and doors is a little bit more complicated with a few if statements and figuring out if they're on or not so yes and yes why is it much much more complicated so so creating levels and if you want to contribute a good thing to do would be designing levels creating levels also and adding new features I want to have like a polar bear type um, creature that you've got to dodge or get past and more challenging things uh, I was also considering since it's set in this well this um, research facility that is attempting to control atmospheric conditions that maybe you could um, control control the, the storm to try and use it to your advantage to make your way out or something but that would be further down the line anyway this so I hope you like the look of my game and um, all contributions are very welcome make a pull request I will look at it and probably merge it um, thanks for watching.